All right, hello guys. Um, so today we're joined with Sunny, and he just recently passed his PMP, and he's going to share his uh, experiences with us. And uh, just before we get started, um, Sunny, can you just kind of tell us like why you wanted to get the um, PMP before we uh, dive into your exam strategies and and you know everything involved around that? Okay, no, I I have practiced as an engineer and project manager for a couple of years. So I thought uh, to grow in my career, I just needed this international certification uh, attached to my name, something like that. So I thought I do the PMP exam and get certified. In it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what kind of experience did you have going into it? Uh, I've practiced as a disciplined chemical engineer as well as project manager on several projects, uh, mostly small and medium projects have led as project manager. Um, so mostly in the oil and gas industry. So uh, that's my experience basically in project engineering and project management. So I've been through projects leading from end to end of the project, basically from initiation all the way to close out. Uh, I've had practical experience working with managing people uh, managing project resources and basically all the project groups and knowledge areas I've practically applied uh, previously without um, necessarily following the PM book guide, if you get what I mean. Yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah. 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 So what... Um, Okay, so you were starting, so at what point in your career did you say to yourself, okay, I really need uh, the PMP certification? Okay, no, I, I think I want to go into full-time uh, project management. So like I said, I've been doing a lot of uh, small and medium-sized projects up till date. So I'm thinking that, okay, with the, with the PMP certification, um, it will give me and my employer has the confidence that I'm able to manage uh, large and probably mega, mega projects as well. So that's why I decided to do the PMP uh, sure. at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just kind of get like the skills you need to manage a mega project and kind of just mm -hmm. learn the ins and outs and get, you know, kind of get into the industry, right? That's it, yes. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. Okay, so you decide to get your PMP. Um, and how long did it take you to get certified? In the beginning? My story is quite interesting. Um, I decided in, in June, actually, that I was going to, to, to do the PMP exam, right? And then I, I registered with the PMI Society, and then I got access to the PM book guide. So I started reading it on my own, but I was carelessly reading it. So whenever I had the time, I'll just read it in the evening. And so I, I've been on leave for the last four weeks, and I decided, okay, now I want to do this thing. And I did it in three plus weeks. Mm -hmm. That's when I, after I got the, the exam PM, I attended the exam PM seminar online. I decided, okay, no, I saw your program said it could be done in six weeks. I said, okay, no, I'm going to do this during my leave. And then when I went through the, now maybe I'm jumping the gun now. I went through your study guide. That there was a plan which you had put online. Yeah. I adjusted that plan to be able to accomplish that in three weeks. Uh -huh. so I did a lot of things in parallel, things that were to be done in three days. I did it in one day. And so I finished, I did the exam, started reading seriously and wrote the exam in three weeks. Wow, wow. So you got, you passed your PMP in just three weeks. So you yeah. adjusted the study plan that we have in the course, which says how, which, which kind of plans out how you can pass in six weeks. And then you uh, fast forwarded that and passed That's it. it. Yes. Wow. Wow. So I had a four week leave. So I just thought, okay, I can, let me get this thing done in this period. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's definitely Thank you. Um, you know, a feat to uh, accomplish. So congratulations, first of all. Thank you. Thank um, you. Yeah, so walk us through your kind of like day-to-day, -day. like what are your study plan, like what did you do on day-to-day -day uh, basis to pass in three? Okay, so like I said, um, 
because I'm on leave, I had the luxury of studying morning and night. So I virtually spending the whole day studying. Um, and then I actually finished the study material in two weeks. And then I spent um, the last week, uh, I spent the last week, uh, what's it called now? Mm -hmm. Studying, uh, doing um, simulation exams. Mm -hmm. So I did at least one simulation exam per day. Mm -hmm. um, and how many did you do before your actual exam? I finished, uh, I did five and I repeated three. Okay, I had access, like I said, when I bought, when I did, um, when I registered in June with the PMI Society, I also registered with another, another, another course. Another course. Uh, and I'll, just to protect them, I wouldn't mention them, but I, consider, I almost consider it a waste of money because I didn't learn anything from them. They were, the course was just regurgitating the PM book to me with no explanation. So it was as good as me reading the PM book myself. Um, so what I did was, okay, since I had this study guide in two weeks, mm -hmm. I got my certificate out, out of the other course, which I had done. So I applied for the PMI um, evaluation first right. while I was still studying right. yeah. because I had that 35 hour certificate and everything already from the previous course. Mm -hmm. So I applied for that and then, but like I said, I wasn't in no way ready to write the exam with what I learned there. It was just not possible because like I said, I was just, it was like reading the PM book myself. Like, so the course was almost useless to me. The only benefit was that it allowed me to apply on time for the PM book, uh, for the PMI, mm -hmm. because I had the certificate from there and then I could, Right. So I used two weeks to read up. And in those two weeks, I applied for my PMI evaluation. Mm -hmm. And then I was allowed to write, I was, my application was approved. So I scheduled the date uh, when I knew I would have finished writing the, mm -hmm. the simulation test. Because from the first, from the, my very first simulation test, I think I scored 66%. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I was a bit confident that, okay, you know, with more practice and more study, I'll be able to get the average of 80% I've been reading online everywhere that know if you can get that the yeah, yeah, exam. Yeah. So I, I applied for the exam and then I wrote it. And yeah, it was quite good because I strangely, or, or I had above targets in every area. So, but I, that's why I agreed to do this interview. I would not take it away from exams PM. You made it easy for me. Like wow. a lot of things, in fact, two things I, I'll stress. Okay. Was one, that table, the, the uh, what's it called now? The PM book process chart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, in my, I never would have thought about how to memorize it until your presentation just gave us that trick. Mm -hmm. And so what I used to do was that every day as I read a new uh, knowledge area, yeah. I'll fill in the process chart for that area. So that's mm -hmm. how I memorized it over the period. Yeah. And it really yeah. helped me. And then the, um, the uh, what's it called now? The, the equations, the, the, the equations that we needed. Yeah. The, EVM and all of that, how you helped me memorize, you made me understand it actually, not just memorize. So it was, it's different to just memorize something as it's another thing to understand what you're doing. Right. And so you, the exam PM course helped me understand those two things very well. So memorizing them was very easy. Mm -hmm. And least, last but not the least, because it also helped, was I also read one of your well, actually, I watched one of your videos on YouTube where you said that you should sp there'll be a 15 minute uh, time before the exam, mm -hmm. and that we should use that for the brain dump kind of thing. Mm -hmm. 
that really helped me because it was like, so once I got into the exam, I knew what to do. Otherwise, I would have wasted time starting the exam first before I started doing my brain dump. Right. And that would have taken into my exam period. Right. And all that information also helped me to start. It was a good strategy for me. So I spent three minutes going through because during my practice, I timed how long I required to do my brain dump. And I realized it took me 12 minutes. So in the exam day, I made sure I didn't spend more than three minutes going through the tutorial. And yeah. then I spent the remaining 12 minutes. Actually, I did in about 11 or so, yeah. putting down my brain dump. So by the time I was starting my exam, my brain dump was ready and everything was good to go. Wow. So yeah, it wow. was perfect strategy from exam period. Wow, I'm so happy to hear that you had a positive experience with that course. That that really, you know, that really makes me really happy as well. Um, yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, in terms of the brain dump, I just want to quickly say that it depends. I think it depends on the uh, pro metric center. Generally, um, what happened now is that they changed the rules that you can't um, use the first 15 minutes to write anything. You can you know, think about it, but then you have to use uh, your actual exam. Oh, okay. Write something. So I think you got lucky with the, with the second maybe. that you went to. Yeah, maybe I was then. Yeah, yeah. So you got, you got lucky there. So generally their new rule is that you can't write anything. You can have the paper in front of you. You can think about it, but you have to use your actual exam, uh, the actual four hours to do. Oh, um, okay, okay. For yourself but yeah that's good that you know you were able to use that time uh to draw a cheat sheet for yourself yeah. um yeah so what um is there any other tips that you could you could give someone who is uh going through this certification journey or another way to put this if you could rewind time and do it all over again would there be anything that you do differently mm. I'm not so sure there's anything I'll do differently. I think it all worked out well for me. Uh, um, maybe I'll, because it works for me, I'll still recommend it. That passively, because you might not know what you're getting into your head, go through the PM book roughly first before you to the to the videos. Uh, so once you start hearing the videos, you start making sense of what you've seen. Mm -hmm. in the PM book, you get what I mean? And I, I didn't finish the PM book before I saw your videos. Uh, but I mean, I read uh, a substantial amount of it. At least I read up to the uh, resource knowledge area. Right. So um, the, the other part was, was easy to understand when I watched your video, if you get what I mean. Right, right. My my advice would be uh, that uh, two things: practice, practice, practice. I did do a lot of simulation um, uh, tests. I, I'll be honest; you might not find all the questions in the exam, but it it gives you puts you in the right frame of mind. Um, typically, what it did for me was not to take the first answer I see. Mm. It, it, it helps me to understand that some answers are tricky. Right? So the questions are just trick questions. So the first answer you see might be a correct answer, but there will be more correct answers in the options. Right, more correct answers going on. Yeah, that's actually, that, that, was, uh, that actually leads me uh, nicely into my next question. Um, do you have any tips for people on their actual exam date uh, or choosing the right uh, questions on their exam? Yeah, so I mean, for me, that's the major tip. Um, read all the questions to the end and read the, all the options available. I mean, the first answer might be right, but the last option might be more correct. And I think they always want the more correct. I assume that's what they want because I had a good score. Yes, yes, they always want the most correct answer, not, you know, just something that um, looks correct. Um, yeah. So, so on your actual exam date, um, how did you find the actual exam? Like, walk us through what that day looked like for you, the actual day to go into your actual exam. Okay. Uh, it was a heavily snowing morning, and I went for the exam. Uh, it was, my exam was supposed to be at 9.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, I went in there to a prometric center. Mm -hmm. The guys were... 
the warm. Uh, I was seated and then I started the test. I mean, I was told to do the, the, the what's it called, the tutorial. And I did my brain dump during that period. Now you let me know it's not the right thing, but I was lucky. <laughs> I did my brain dump during the period and then I started the exam. Uh, I paced myself properly. I, during my practice sessions, I just told my, I realized the trick was doing 50 questions per hour. Mm -hmm. And I see one of the most gentle recently, someone also said that, but I noticed that during the practice session. So I made sure that I turned myself that way. Uh, and with that, you still have a couple of minutes after the exam. Actually, we do that to review any questions. Um, I tried to finish every question before I moved on, because like I said, my aim was to do 50 questions before in 60 minutes. So I was able to time myself properly and which and I did. I completed every question I wanted to do. Uh, before moving on. However, for those I wasn't um, sure of, mm -hmm. I just marked them and then checked them again when I finished the exam completely. Mm -hmm. So that was just my strategy on the exam day. Right. So timing yourself and, uh, you know, making sure that you um, have enough time to complete the exam. Did you find the four hours was enough to complete your exam? Yes, I finished um, all the questions, or rather I attempted all the questions in the, in the four hours. In the four hours? Okay, that's awesome. So what's next in your career now that you are PMP certified? Like, what are you looking forward to do with your new certification? Okay, no, I'm looking um, for opportunities now as um, a project or senior project manager. Um, I can apply the skills and knowledge I've learned. Yeah, any industry in particular? Uh, I wouldn't limit myself to any particular industry. However, my experience over the years has been the oil and gas industry. So my focus, yes, or preference will be the oil and gas industry, but I'm not limiting myself to any industry at the moment. Got it. Got it. That's awesome. Any uh, city in particular or just, you know, in general, you're open to any? Uh, I'm open to anywhere, although I'm moving to Canada. Uh, so I'm thinking I would look for it there and then anywhere I can find an opportunity, yes, I will. And and where are you right now? Where are you located right now? I'm in, in Canada. I'm working in South Africa, but I'm in moving. My family's in Canada, so I'm joining them in Canada soon. Oh, got it. That's so exciting. Our headquarters is in uh, Canada, so you should come visit us when you're... Oh, okay. That's cool. I'm actually in Saskatoon visiting my family at the moment. Oh, that's, that's so awesome. So we're located, our headquarters is located in, uh, in Toronto. So. Oh, okay. So yeah. Well, thank you so much, Sunny, for sharing your experiences with us. It's such a pleasure to have you. And, and congratulations again on passing your PMP in uh, three weeks. Um, and I'm really, really thrilled for you. And I'm so happy that this course made a difference for you and uh, helped, you, helped you accomplish this goal. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it.